Welcome to our science project. I am Henry Spaulding. And I'm Jamie Chicago. And this is Arrow Carts. Okay, so we will be building two identical carts, and then we will have one independent variable on two tests. One of the independent variables are the shape of both the cars. One is bulky and one is skinny and slim. Then we will take time tests in each of the cars and see if the weight differential affects our times. And in the end, we will figure out who has the fastest cart. Okay, Jacob. All right. So here are right. the hypotheses. So for the smooth car, for the cars, I think that the smooth car is going to go faster than the bulky car because it's more aerodynamic, meaning the wind won't slow it down as much because it is more of a bullet shape going through the wind. It has less drag to catch on the hood. Drag is when wind or air slows down a vehicle because its mass is getting in the way. But it, with a car that's bullet shaped, it will just slide right over the car. And I think that the more bulky car will go faster because it is it will not stop and it has more momentum going down the hill. Though it may have drag and the wind presses against it, I think that the car will just roll right through it. Okay. Okay, and so for the weight, I am clearly heavier than Jacob. So our tests will not be the same. So we will, be t we will take different tests, and what I think is that I think that the lighter person will go faster in either car because their weight won't slow them down as much and they will glide down the hill. I think the higher weight, Henry, of the person will speed them up because they will gain momentum faster and speed up. For example, if you threw a feather in that wind, it, it would float away. But if you threw a rock, it will cut through the air because of its density. It's a wrap. So as you can see, these bolts and washers are holding this wheel in, which we and it's a little outside so it can still move, so it's a little loose as you can see. And they're holding it so it doesn't touch the wood. And this this whole board is gonna have a washer in it, which is gonna make it rotate. And this bar keeps the wheels on, and this thing holds the bar with the wheels in. Alright. Alright. And that's how we did it. Okay. So when this has these two washers on, it's gonna let it slide from side to side so it doesn't like jam up. See right now we have two screws in it. But when it does have the washers we're gonna have two ropes connected to either side so we can maneuver the cart as like whenever we want to so we don't crash, you know. Alright, so we got the washers on, so now the front can pivot, because this washer is holding this in, which can pivot it. And these two circles hold yep. the rope in, which will maneuver the, which is our pretty much steering yep. process. Yep. Alright. Cool. We've also installed a brake system, which when you pull this up, this rubber, at first we didn't have the rubber, so we tried it out and it didn't really attract against the tire so it wouldn't really stop. So when we install the rubber, it really stops it and it's all good. And on the other one too. Yep, we got it on both. And a wrench holder. Only on one, we don't really need them on both, you know. All right. Okay, so the turning system right here has three washers underneath that are sliding against each other so the wood doesn't touch itself. See, and then these ropes are pulling so it's like, so we can turn it from inside the car basically. So if we were going down a hill, we don't want to crash into a tree. So what, all we have to do is pull on the rope and go, er, turn ourselves. And yeah, we have the ropes here. I'll show you. Take one of these. Take these ropes. Here, go to the front, Jake. Alright. Now, I'm going to pull on the right rope, and it would turn right like this. See? 
So I'm pulling, the washers are turning. Yeah. So, we have finished our cars. We have the steering systems down. And as you can see, this car has a, sl a slope in the front so the air passes over it. And so it doesn't uh, catch on the, s just on the front like this one. And no visor. This one, block, no block. Those are some of the differences. And as you can also see, the vinyl license plate. A boop boop. Oh yeah. So it's pretty awesome, you know. Oh yeah. Okay. So after we were done, we decided to paint it. And made stencils. They're kind of weird. Yeah, they worked. And the Santa Cruz sticker and duct tape. And the pillow, because it's really comfy. Yeah. Jacobs. Want to explain it, Jake? Yeah. I just made some normal racing stripes, because mine's boxy. I did mine. I did that one on the wrong way. But this one turned out pretty good. Yeah, this one's pretty beast. And we did our handle things. And I will put a sticker on eventually. And we do have a wrench holder in this one, just in case. Yeah, no, just whatever. Ha! Yeah! So we couldn't film every run from our car testing because my dad he was filming or he wasn't filming; he was timing, but he couldn't film at the same time. We didn't have enough workers to do that. So yeah, we only have one, but we have all the results. So. All right, here we have Captain Dingus and Captain Other Dingus ready to race. I'm Captain Dingus. <laughs> Dingus. Actually, we have the Flash and the Hulk, right? This is the Hulk, the fart car. Oh, yeah, yeah. This is the Flash, the money maker. <laughs> right on, okay. And we both got our racing glasses on. We're ready to go. Okay, let me back all the way down. This will be a great shot, dude. Okay. Are you ready to rumble? <laughs> Are you ready to rumble? Okay. All right, who's going to yank the pillow? Me. Okay. Okay, I'm not going to I'm not going to time it. I'm just going to tape it. 1 2 3 go. So you're going to go that way. I'm going to go. I'm going to turn right. You're going to just keep going straight. Ah! Ah! Jake wins. Congratulations on your great victory. Your prize is you get to pick the banana. Oh, snap! Take which banana you would like most. Oh, yes, he wins! What a winner. The Congratulations, banana. Mmm, yummy. Okay, so in the end, both of our hypotheses were right. In mine, I was part right because the aerodynamic car with the smooth side would go went faster in all the tests. And I was right because Henry's Henry went faster in both the carts because of his weight. Yeah, so in my average altogether was nine point one two five seconds. And nine was nine point two seconds. And then in the flash car or the fast car that we made is That was the aerodynamic one, right? Yes, the aerodynamic car. The average on that one was eight point nine seconds. And the Hulk, the non-aerodynamic one, the more bulky one, the average was 9.425 seconds. So what had the bigger effect, the weight of the driver or the car? I think that the car of the driver had... Wait, the car of the what? The car. The car. The car had the most effect. Uh-huh. Then... How come? The driver, because the, the results are more... Like drastic a drop or in a right. The difference between the averages is bigger for the car than it is for the drivers, right? Yeah. Yeah, that that totally makes sense. Yep. Nice um, works. Special All thanks right. to Josh, Julie, and Tom for building, hypothesizing, and filming. And we know that Josh built, and my mom filmed, and my dad hypothesized. <laughs>